I am Miss Allie and welcome to this week's episode of Random Acts of Science. Today we are going to be talking about Bernoulli's Principle by looking at levitating ping pong balls. In your bag there is a circle sheet of paper, a bendy straw, a ping pong ball, and a pom-pom. From home you will need a pair of scissors and tape. To begin, cut a slit in your circle sheet of paper all the way to the middle. There should be a small dot in the middle for a reference point. Fold the paper over to make a cone shape and tape it together, both on the inside and outside to secure its shape. Cut the tip of the cone shape, just enough so that your straw can fit through. When looking in the cone, only a very small amount of the straw should be sticking through, and tape the straw to your cone shape paper. It's okay to use a lot of tape to make sure there are no air leaks. To try it out, place either the ping pong ball or the pom pom into the cone and blow through the straw to see if you can make it float. Be aware, you might need to blow pretty hard to make it float in the air. Try it with both objects to see which is easier or harder to levitate. How does this work? As mentioned by Crystal Chatterton in her book, Awesome Science Experiments for Kids, Bernoulli's principle says that if air speeds up, the pressure is lowered. The air that you are blowing around the ping pong ball is moving quickly, which means it's at a lower pressure than the surrounding stationary air. Gravity pulls the ping pong downward, while the air blowing from below the ping pong ball forces it upward. When all the forces acting on the ping pong ball are balanced, it hovers in midair. For more fun with this experiment, try using different sized straws you might have at home. I hope you guys had fun with our levitating ping pong ball experiment. Thanks so much for joining us, and this program has been sponsored by PBS Kids. They have lots of great content that you can find online at their website at pbskids.org. Thanks again, and we look forward to seeing you next week.